If it's just the little spider guys, I can deal with those. It's when we get dog size and bigger that I start to fall apart. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Generation Zero. We're here in Mortness, and I'm trapped by a robo-dog. This is pretty much par for the course in this part of Generation Zero. Now, you may notice occasionally some discrepancies between my ammo or my health or my inventory. You may be sitting there going, hey, wait a minute, he had way more ammo than that the last time I watched this. Or, hey, what's up with his health bar? I thought he had more health when I watched the last bit of Generation Zero. So this game only saves at safe health. Houses. I have to get from one safe house to another to make a save. That is not always convenient when I am recording. Sometimes I just want to stop the recording where I am. What that means to me is I often have to backtrack when I start recording again. So I started way up at the farm that we were at the last time and I had to backtrack here. I don't think I killed this robo dog before, but I might have. So if this is the second time we've had to kill the robo dog, well, sorry, but he's going to have to go. What it does let us do is mess around around with some distractions. A bunch of people in the comments came in last time and said, hey, those flares, those radios, those fireworks you keep picking up, those are for distracting your enemies. You throw them and then they go to them because they're morons and then you shoot them in their robot faces. That wasn't the exact comment, but that was my interpretation of it. So I wanted to give that a try. So I've got these emergency flares here. What if we, you know, used those? What if I got a flare out and then I through it. I'm going to have to remind myself how to how to throw things. No, no, no. That's emoting things. I don't I don't genuinely remember what to do. Okay, uh throw that over there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Now, are you going to come to it like a moron? I hope so. You don't Ah, there you are. Yeah, and you're even shooting it too, which is even better. Giving me an opportunity to shoot you in your robot face. Well, that was okay. Didn't last for too long, but then you did shoot it. Uh, move, move away from the robo dog, Dave. And how about you reloaded too? Okay, uh, let's let's do that again. That seemed to go okay. Let's uh, fire that off, and then launch that. Oh, I've, I've, okay. That was not that was not the best place to put the flare, Dave. Not the best place to put the flare. Back up up the stairs here. I don't have a throwing arc. Oh, P.S. Don't make the mistake of playing Generation Zero after you've played Fallout Four because you can punch fats everything, and it's not working. All right, you seem to be. Demised, but there's more of you. Is demised? Is that a verb? Can you demise? No, you would be demised. Which can, ne never mind. Go shoot the dog. All right, let's try the flare thing again. So he goes right to that like an idiot, and I shoot him a bunch. Okay, I like that. That's handy. That's oh god, there's another one. Okay, are you also distracted by the same flare that just went out? So no, you're probably not. I'm gonna guess. Uh, you're up there somewhere, but I don't think you've actually seen me. Let me just, uh, get this guy searched here. Some steel, some ammo. Yeah, handy, handy. All right, I don't want to burn through all of my flares just kind of messing around with robo-dogs. I feel we should use those for emergency purposes only. So maybe we just kind of move on a little bit. I don't remember. I might actually have to go back and watch my own videos. That's a shame. I don't remember... If I actually search that farm up there, I think I came straight down here. So I'm just going to kind of nudge my nose up there and see what see what's going on. Well, now here's a thing. Here's a big tank of something clearly flammable or John Bon Jovi from 1986. I'm not sure. It could be the John Bon Jovi from 1986 icon, but I'm going to guess that it means really, really splody. So just as an experiment, I want to see what happens if I shoot it. I don't know if I'm far enough back if this thing goes off, but I just kind of want to see what happens. Oh, there's somebody trying to shoot me. Right. Um, I'm, I'm doing an experiment, RoboDog. I want to see if we can blow this tank up. It doesn't seem like it. it. Doesn't It does seem to be vaguely immune to bullets. That's okay. Oh, we've entered combat, have we? All right. Well, how about I threw another flare your way? Again, going with the premise that I don't want to waste them, I'm going to go ahead and waste all of them on uh, these three robo-dogs that are kind of giving me a pain in my neck. So, sh oh, you've already you've already dismissed the flare. Got it. Okay, well, just shooting then. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. They're all over the place. This place is just infested with robo-dogs. What's in here? Wood. Okay. Ah, he's unfortunately doing the Obi-Wan Kenobi trick of taking the high ground, and boy, he is winning. Obi-Wan was not wrong. You get the high ground, you win. 
All right, um, maybe I'll kind of hide out in here, I guess. Do I have any of those radios left kicking around? They were telling me that that's a distraction, too. I have a scope. Fireworks, explosive gas tank, first aid kits. That's all spiffy. And there's some consumables, some crafting resources. No, doesn't look like I brought any of the radios with me. I found like five of them and I didn't bring one of them. Well, I didn't know they were distractions, so here we are. Aha! Now I have the high ground. Now I win everything, eventually. Uh, did I win? I win. Yep, Obi-Wan was right. Okay. Right, got him down. Took a few shots for that, but I've got some first aid kits. Not as many as I might like, but I've got some first aid kits. Okay, get out of all of that. Let's go back to trying to search that barn. I'm not seeing any way to get into the big barn barn, and I'm not seeing much going on around here, so I think we might just press on a little bit, try to get to uh, wherever it is we're going. Now, that looks suspiciously like something that wants to murder me. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on there. What do we got here? What, what's, what, do, what's your deal? How much do you hate me? Oh, it's more like a, it's like a radar dish. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, let's, uh, let's creep up on the radar dish. They're they're known for being able to track things, so I'm hoping they don't track me. And I see there is something that's keeping an eye out for me. I d oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see you. Oh, yeah, you're coming right up on me, aren't you? How about we just shot you a bunch of times in your face? Uh, sort of. Okay, one down, but there's, an there's another. Oh, there's more. There's more. Run. 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 Run away. More running. More leaving the scene. More just kind of getting out of here, going back to the barn. The barn is nice. We like the barn. The barn is friendly. The barn is not trying to shoot us. This guy's trying to shoot us, however. Uh, so how about we shot you? Uh, yay, yay, yay. Uh, more reloading, more reloading, more reloading, more reloading. I'm pretty sure one of us just died, and I think it was him. And that looks like the last one, and I think I just took him out. All right, good. Good, good, good. So far, so good. Kind of, vaguely. So we have apparently stumbled onto an abandoned fishing wharf. And that radar beacon is some sort of relay that I'm supposed to be dealing with. Got a little pop-up saying, hey, you got one of those here, just so as you know, Sparky. All right. Well, the little relay icon is red. That's usually very, very bad. That means I can't... Do oh, that moon, is, that moon is beautiful. Look at that. That's really nice. Okay, is there nothing I can do with this? Apparently not at this time. Okay, let me do a quick scan of the area here. Maybe there's something I'm missing. That wouldn't be surprising. It's a backpack here. Anything going on? No. First aid kit, though. That is very welcome. I've been using a bunch of those recently. Oh, I like that moon. That's a really nice effect. Burning car down there and abandoned, destroyed buildings. Am I going to go for that? Or there was also this whole building over here. I'm going to go check out the building first. Then I'll come back to the rest of it. That's a dead robo-dog. That's fine. No, Dave, this is the farm you were just at, Dave. Just move along, Dave. That's the farm you were literally just at seconds ago. You've already searched it and killed all the robo-dogs. Okay, off to the abandoned town that I'm pretty sure I haven't done before. I mean, I say town, it's a fishing wharf. It's not exactly a bustling community over here, but I do like the car on fire. And like an idiot, I'm going to search it. This is, this sounds really sensible and smart. This is exactly what I should be doing. S just go ahead and search a burning car. It right, doesn't look like there's much here for me to find. Let me just poke my nose around here. No, nope, looking pretty barren, looking pretty empty. How about down uh, down by the water here? Anything kicking around? It's Sweden, so there must be some ammo I can grab. I bet it'll be right in here. It always is. Oh, it's thread. Okay. Yep. Thread and ammo. That's pretty much what I've got a lot of right now. Not necessarily ammo for any guns that I've got, but lots of ammo nonetheless. Okay. Now what? Where am I for a start? How about we focus on that? I am not far from Saltum. Saltum? Sol Solfamnum? Anyway, I'm not far from a destination, and hopefully one of those will be a safe house, and I, you know, can kind of save there. So it looks like a little bit over this bridge, and I'm kind of where I want to be. I haven't covered any of this area yet. Not even a little bit have I searched that. I've basically made a straight line 
right through my quest targets here. So I might go in, I'm going to, well, definitely going to go into Salt Nam. Anyway, we're going to go over here. And then maybe, depending on what happens there, I might think about backtracking a little bit and do a little bit of an explore. We'll see. So I'm very close to that bridge now, but I've got this sort of bunkery looking thing in front of me. And I'm just noticing now, I, I'm, I don't have unlimited ammo for this pistol. I had a bunch, but, you know, we've also shot a bunch of robo-dogs too. I don't have as much ammo for this, like my main weapon, if you will, as I might like. Is there, is there no way into this bunker? Oh, what a silly bunker you have here, sir. Or ma'am, as the case may be. Is there maybe an, a way to get into it, like, down below? Is this a multi-level bunker that I could get into? Because if I'm looking for survivors, I gotta say, go to the bunker. That's what I would do, anyway. Is there any sort of access area or hatch or something down here? There might be. I might be looking right at it. I don't know. What's going on over here? That's a rock. That's less interesting than I would like it to be. Well, here's the bridge, and absolutely no surprise, it's heavily guarded. I've already spotted several robotic problems at the far end of the bridge there. Let's see if I can spot a few of them here. I think I saw at least a few of them as I was coming up on the bridge. Now, of course, they're all being very wily and hiding from me, but they are definitely there. They are definitely there. All right, what do I... I'm sure the bridge is my only access. There's probably no realistic way I can... Can I get over? Can I swim? Can I swim in this game? Because if I can swim, I can probably just bypass them a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Let's go find out if we can swim. So I'm actually not, not really sure about that one. This doesn't look good. I don't have high hopes for this. Alright, how... Am I going to take damage if I just jump from here? Any other video game, I'd say no. Jump in the water is no damage, but I don't know that for a fact. It makes me nervous. And my last save was a long time ago. Is there a softer landing down here? This might be a little softer. Uh, no. No, I'm just not sold on this. I'm not sold on this. I mean, obviously, I know fall damage is a thing in this game because I have clothes that protect against it. And I'm not sure if jumping into the water would be zero fall damage. Because if it ain't, that's a long way to go. Speaking of clothing, thank you to the commenter who pointed out I should probably be taking my gas mask off when I, you know, am not under the effects of a gas attack of some sort. Because it's limiting my vision. Actually be able to shoot a little more accurately or see a little better. Or just basically open my eyes up a little bit if I didn't have the gas mask on. So actually, while I'm thinking of that out loud... Let me just go and deal with that. So on my... Is that eyewear or face? I think that's face. Oh, I have piercings. Yay, good for me. Uh, but I do believe this is eyewear, so let's just go with none on that. Oh, I look so cool and badass. I'm not, but I look it. Do I not see robo-dogs now? Because I'm not seeing robo-dogs now. It's entirely possible I may have confused the flashing lights of that car for robo dogs but let me just grab all of this thank you yep that i see a scope right there too and that is a scope that does what is that any different than my other scope maybe maybe not can i put a scope on my pistol that's not a real thing is it no there's no possible way i can do that no i thought not but it was worth a shot anyway just to see if i could get a little a little better range and a little better eyesight all right so we've, we've reached Thal Saltum. Salt that? Anyway, we reached the town. And Wait, is this car named Bjork? Hang on, slam the trunk. It's the Bjork 300. Greatest car ever. I want this car literally right now. I mean, it's not going to stop me from ripping the engine out and getting a car, car battery EMP, you say? Do car batteries produce an electromagnetic pulse? Seems to me that would be somewhat counterproductive in a car. The Bjork 300. The only thing that would be better would be the Sugar Cubes 1000. All right, well, contrary to my own popular opinion, I've made it across the bridge with zero problems. I would have sworn I saw enemies there. Maybe they've moved. Can I call people? Please say I can call people. Can I call people? No. Why can I get in this phone booth then? I suppose it would be vaguely defensive if I were being attacked. I'm probably about to get attacked. Let's go check out these campers here. These look fun and on fire, but fun. What's going on 
inside here. Yeah, there's definitely some l get in the camper van. There's definitely some looting to be done. Textile, all right, good crafting material there. Backpack, what do you got? Another firework, okay. Wow, it just put everything on that. I think I've got two scopes through a pistol. Not very effective, but looks awesome. Oh, and this guy didn't fare very well. Let me just loot his corpse some ammo. That's always welcome. Never gonna say no to that. All right, what's going on in town? That's the real question here, isn't it? While I'm here, why don't I just do a quick med pack thing, first aid kit, top my health off a little bit. Not gonna hurt. It's probably gonna be something down here. It's probably gonna wanna shoot me. Locate and explore the bomb shelter. Oh, does that lead up to that bunker I was looking at? That would make sense. I mean, I have located it, quest target. I've, I've located it. You put it right up on the map. It's right there. But I'm more interested in the fact that I see a little safe house icon here. Might be able to grab a save and then just sort of work around the area. It looks like there's a lot to do here. So I'll take those fireworks. I'm going to ignore the bunker for right now, and I'll come back to it. What I'd like to get is moving in the direction of that safe house. Hopefully I'm looking at a safe house that's local and not one that's halfway across the map that I've already discovered. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot to explore in this town. This is going to take a while. I'm just sort of, again, vaguely heading in the direction of the safe house icon. This looks good gorgeous at night like this with the moon coming down this looks really really nice of course it could be something as simple as the bunker is the safe house dave the bunker is the safe house emergency flare good i used a few of those because every time i try and get an eyeball on it i'm just going in a big circle so i'm gonna go ahead and say this is where i'm supposed to be yeah this doesn't look ominous at all can I search these backpacks first? I'm probably going to die in here. Yeah, first aid kit. Boy, am I going to need that. Okay, so it's um, kind of dark. Kind of dark in here. What's, uh, I, I can't see a thing. What if I get out one of my emergency flares? This is a terrible idea. Why don't you not light that right in front of your own face, Dave? All right. That worked. That worked. There's a door here. Okay. Any lights on in here? Because I'm holding a flare... And, um, it, it's gonna go out at some point. I'm just gonna toss it over there. There we go. Hi! Hi! Is anyone here who doesn't want to murder me? No, but you're well-stocked in fireworks. Oh, hi! You want to murder me? Um, okay, I can deal with you. I can deal with you. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I mean, I'd unintentionally distracted him with the flare, so that was an easy one. I have a feeling, hi, uh, that whoever else is here isn't going to be that easy. Keep reloading. Keep shooting. Robots on fire means light around here, so I like that bit. Looks like there's somebody right around the corner. Oh, yeah. I can even see the shadow. I saw you move, buddy. I saw you down there. Come on. If it's just the little spider guys, I can deal with those. It's when we get dog size and bigger that I start to fall apart. All right, another door. Let's see what's going on in here. Back off a little bit. Back off in case anyone's going to pounce on me. Hi, I see you. I see you. And I put you down now. Somebody just take a shot at me? Felt like I just took some damage, but I wasn't looking at my health bar. There's clearly somebody here. I can see the little we're looking for you thing. But it looks like they might be in the next room. Okay. Let's see if there's anything worth looting here before we move on. Oh, a storage station. Excellent. I think. Is there anything I want to store? I don't know that there is. So if there's a storage station, this must be a safe house. I think that's how that works. Wait a minute. There's a ton of weapons in here. Whoa. Assault rifle, machine gun, pump action. I've got a pump action shotgun. I've got several of them, actually. Air tanks, ammo, more radios. That might be one of mine. I'm not sure. Now, the very generous viewer who gifted me Generation Zero uh, after we had had a couple episodes up on the channel also gifted me some DLC of sort of like, I guess, a weapons pack of some sort. So this might be from that. I'm not sure. It's clearly far better than anything I've got. Do I have any ammo for it, though? That's the thing. I'm going to take it because, duh. But let's go. I want to dump some stuff, too. Do I? Am I still carrying around those shotguns? I just don't feel I'm a shotgun kind of guy. 
I'm just not. No, I think I put those in the storage box already. In fact, those are probably my shotguns that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, those, those must be my shotguns. Okay, I'm keeping the bat. I don't know why, but I'm keeping the bat. I have, the, I have not used it, ever. It's also completely pitch black in here. Oh, pick up the flashlight. Oh, pick up the flashlight. Oh, pick up the flashlight. I would love to. I'm having to keep popping flares off here because I'm getting attacked, for one thing. Um, hi. And then the flares go out and it's pitch black. I also think I've dropped... Yeah, there, go, there goes the lights again. I can't, I literally can't see what I'm doing. Um, can I pick up this lantern and move it? I believe I just dropped that assault rifle that I had, and I believe it's despawned. I think I meant to put it in my inventory. A knit cap, yeah, I'll take that. And I've accidentally dropped it. So, you know, I've got that going for me. A pure, pure um, clumsiness on my part. I need to see. This is what needs to happen here. I, I need... I need to see what's going on. So to facilitate that, I'm just going to hold the flare burning in my hands. I'm not, I'm just going to try and bypass everything else and try to deal with this nonsense of getting the generator turned on. Because that will hopefully get some lights going on in here. Ah, safe house unlocked. Great, good. Um, this, this flare can go live in the corner over here. All right. Ah, lights. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm a little confused. Did I not put... I put the scope on the hunting rifle. I might have accidentally taken it off. It just, it's just odd. So I've taken the N60 machine gun because, you know, of course I did. Um, yeah, sure. Put it put it in a slot. It'll be fun. Uh, do, I, do I own that now? Do I actually have that? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I have virtually no ammo for it. I need 7.62 millimeter for this. But uh, it's fun. It's, I don't suppose you guys left a ton of 7.62 ammo in here, did you? No. No, but I do have quite a lot of looting to do. Oh, never mind. I found it. Apparently, I put it in a suitcase. That was weird of me. But yeah, I will definitely take that. Thank you. Hang on. Let me just... There we go. Oh, I actually have zero ammo for this. I have actually no ammo at all for this. But it looks really cool. So I'm going with it. I will... I'll probably put the big machine gun back in the box there. Keep this one on me because I'm sure eventually I'll find some ammo for it. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Generation Zero for today. Deep in the bunker here, but at least it's a safe house. So I won't have to do much backtracking the next time we come into some Generation Zero. Do please keep the comments coming in. I'm glad I've learned about distractions now. And do let me know what you're thinking of Generation Zero. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below it does cheer me up no end when people do that and if you're new to the channel maybe just checking it out for the first time feel free to hit that subscribe button see more of this ridiculous nonsense until then i'm dave thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time i'm just gonna keep shooting hildegrad until she goes away which is my response to most nuns really robot how do we rescue you i i don't i don't know how to rescue you I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. This isn't personal, actually. I, I don't know any of you. Um, I'm Space Commander Awesome, and uh, I'm having a weird kind of day here. Were you playing with a dead guy's zither? That, that sounded so much better in my head than when it came out of my mouth.